Hey and welcome back to a new review of a cool piece of archery kit. In this video I will show you all the cool features the Steady Aim A1 has to offer and how I use them in my practice sessions. If you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and you'll be updated on all the new reviews I will do, be doing in the future. Thanks and I hope you enjoy this video. When we open the package the first thing you notice is that there isn't much you need to get out and work with the steady aim. The package includes two rubber bands to secure the device to your side, a charging cable, a hook to clip the case onto your quiver and the device itself. At first glance the device looks a lot like the Mantis I reviewed in an earlier video. But the main difference is how you can physically attach the device to a bow. Where the Mantis uses a Picatinny rail that you need to glue on your bow or side, the Steady Aim secures itself with a rubber band and can be switched from one bow to another in seconds without using glue or zip ties. For Steady Aim to record your aiming pattern as realistic as possible, I therefore would advise you to slide the device as close to your bow as possible without hitting the riser. All right, now let's dig into the software. You can use either Android or Apple device to use the full capabilities, but you are also able to log on to the Steady Aim website and view as much as a thousand shots recorded in the past. I have downloaded the app on my Apple device. So if you're using an Android device, your experience might look a little different than mine. When we start the app, it shows six big buttons that do not leave much on the table but I will still go through them either way. The first button is the account button. After you have logged in to the account, the menu doesn't offer much other than syncing your data to the Steady Aim Cloud. If you're using multiple devices like I do, you can synchronize all the devices with the Sync Data button to make sure they all have the same history and profiles. It's good to keep in mind that the Steady Aim Cloud saves a maximum of a thousand shots so if you log on to the website to analyze your previously made shots, you only see the last 1000. Going back to the main menu, I will enter the profiles menu to select the profile I will use for the next session I'm going to record. As you can see, I have multiple profiles configured. As the device is easily transferred from one bow to another, I use it on a regular basis with my students, friends and on multiple bows. So we're going to create a new profile now for this demo. Um, as you can see, I have uh, the option to select a recurve or a compound bow. If you're shooting a recurve with a clicker, the Steady Aim can detect your clicker and analyze the time between click and release. A very neat fe feature, which I will show you later in this video. Next is to select if you're left or right-handed. And as last but not least, how you have mounted the bow to your device so that the graphs and diagrams are not mir mirrored. The follow menu, you can follow other steady aim archers and compare each other's results. Uh, at this point, I do not follow anyone and nobody's following me. But if you want, you can follow me using my email address, sender at kingsofarchery.com. I'll skip the history menu for now as I will go into more detail later on. So first I will open the device menu now where it lets you connect to the device and update the device if necessary. Also the battery level of the device is shown here and by disconnecting you will turn off the device. Remember this though, the device will not turn off by itself uh, if it's not disconnected. The history button is my most used item in the menu. Here you can view all your recorded shots in the past. By default, all shots recorded are shown in this overview, but you can use the filter option to, on the top of the screen to select shots from only one profile. For now, let's filter on the recurve profile so we can see the full stack of features. For, for this particular profile, I've recorded three sessions during coaching. A good thing to mention is that there's no limit to the number of arrows that can record it during a session. 
I have recorded as much as 125 hours in a single session. But honestly, I would usually only record 30, 36 or 60 arrows. For now, I will review the latest session I recorded by clicking it. So now that I'm in the session, I will click one of the shots. In the top part of the screen, you will see you are seeing a bar that shows if you are holding your bow straight. Very useful for recurve shooters and coaches when used in a live view mode. On the left, you see the uphill and downhill angle and some graphs that are used to calculate your steadiness scores. X, Y, and Z are the axes the device is moving. When looking at the graph itself, the steady aim divides the shots in a number of different phases. Knowing setup shown as green, follow through is marked by red and is the phase after the actual execution and hold shown as purple. The last second of the hold phase is shown by the color blue. The data collected in this second forms your steadiness score. You can filter all phases and the execution point and view all shots at once, which makes it easy to compare all of them together. By pressing the play button, you can start and pause the shot at any time. Below the graph we have the steadiness scores that indicates how steady the shot was, followed by the drift score. This number indicates if you're drifting away from the middle. I personally do not use the scores a lot. Mainly when you score high in the 90s, a more detailed analysis is necessary to see what's going on and where to improve. This was something I experienced with the Mantis as well. The next two features will actually make the steady aim the device to choose if you're in the market. First is the post clicker hold time. This indicates the reaction time on the clicker. This is one, if not the most important part of being a more steady archer. And with the steady aim, you can actually monitor your progress and have the numbers on the changes you have made to your technique. The last feature I would like to point out is the distance text box. By filling in the distance you are shooting or the distance you would like to mimic, the graph shows you the actual size of your aiming pattern at any point during the shot process. This is what I look at after making changes or when I feel my aiming is all over the place. This gives you the exact number if the change you made made your aiming better or worse. Going back to the main menu, there is only one button we haven't discussed yet. By pressing the shoot button, we're going to start recording a session. Sometimes a calibration pop-up shows up where you have to make sure your bow and sensor are sitting still so the sensor can zero in. In the shooting menu, we see a familiar screen and it's pretty much a copy of the history view per session. Here you can monitor your shots and make notes during the session as well as for the session or, or the individual shots. In the bottom you see shots and live. The live mo mode is something a coach can use during the practice session. Especially the level can help a lot with a recurve archer holding the bow level during the shot. Nice thing about the app is that it also records a shot when the screen is not active. So no need to drain your battery by keeping it on all the time. Just leave the app open and put your phone in sleep. It will keep recording shots until you press the finish button. After you have finished the session, you can review it in the history menu. This concludes this review of the steady aim for now. I know the A1 team is constantly improving the software as they have done in the past and I look forward to new updates and features. I have been told that there is a new update that will include a target plotter and practice drills that have been developed together with several top archery coaches to, to increase your archery game. I can't wait to test them out and use these new features and will post updates on my social media whenever they are available. For more information about the Steady Aim, please send me a message on Facebook or Instagram or visit steady.aim.com. Thanks for watching and if you like this video please like and subscribe.